we are talking about this idea that failure is not fatal that God will use failure to deepen us and to grow us if we let him. Failure does not have the last word unless we let it. One of the ways that we keep failure from having the final say in everything is that we go and make it right, that we don't just kind of sit and wait for things or kind of are embarrassed or we're too proud and we let things just sort of devolve and decay over time. When we fail, especially when we fail relationally, and again, that happens all the time. It happens to me all the time. I say the wrong thing, I do the wrong thing, and so I, I need to go make it right. And so it's this whole idea of that we, when we fail, we take those steps forward and we go to make it right. We humble ourselves with someone else. And by humbling ourselves, it starts to work God's work inside of us that we go and say, hey, I'm sorry. I was wrong when I did this. Would you please forgive me? That whole process of reconciling, of owning up to, of fessing up to uh, our failures and our sins, actually, it, it restores things relationally with us and others, and it works this deep work inside of us of deepening our character and changing who we are. And it's part of the beautiful way that God brings his kingdom into our world and sets things right in our relationships. And so I wanna ask you this morning, who have you failed that you need to go make it right? Who, need, who have you and what relationships uh, or things you have done that you need to go make it right? You need to get up where you are right now or sometime today. You don't forget and you go after it and you go to make things right with someone that you have failed with. I want to ask you, I want to challenge you, I want to triple dog dare you to go and make things right today.